Russia seized two bases and more than 14 airports and 15 land sites covering an area of thousands of square kilometers in Syria. They are all now considered Russian territory. Before its direct military intervention in Syria, Russia forced the Syrian government to sign an agreement through which it imposed a complete hegemony over many Syrian regions, including the Tartus port base, which Russia seized for a period of 49 years. The agreement allows Russia to automatically extend the seizure to up to 25 years without any financial compensation. The Hememim base, which houses about 20,000 Russian fighters and extends over a vast land area. The base has been completely emptied of Syrian civilian and military populations and facilities. And many other bases that Russia established in various Syrian regions in order to maintain and expand control over the surrounding areas. The agreement that the Syrian government was forced to sign in August of 2015 includes the following terms. Russia's right to use Syrian government property, including real estate and buildings, and the right transfer ownership of these properties to Russia without restrictions. Russia is also exempted from direct or indirect taxes on these properties, giving Russia free and inviolable land. To grant Russian soldiers and their families immunities and privileges similar to those accorded to diplomats, and giving Russian transports immunity from screening and searching protocols, to guarantee that no one, including representatives of Syrian authorities, has the right to enter any Russian military site without the consent of its commander. Therefore, a Russian colony has been established over large parts of Syria, and the Syrian people lost their sovereignty over these lands for more than half a century to come.